Hi, today I want to talk about cervical radiculopathy, or some people use the term brachialgia, which is essentially radiculopathy is a pinched nerve syndrome. When a nerve is pinched and it doesn't work properly, you get symptoms of pain along the course of that nerve or loss of function of that nerve. In the terms of brachialgia or cervical radiculopathy, it's when a nerve is trapped in the neck. So patients often get neck pain that radiates down to the shoulder, sometimes into the arm, and it can be associated with weakness or numbness of the fingertips or the hand or the arm. So a common cause of this is a trapped nerve within the spine from a slip disc or a disc bulge. So here we have the back of the human spine, and this is the neck portion, what we call the cervical spine, which is made up of vertebrae. And if we slice across the neck and look upwards, this is the view we would have. So this is the disc at the front, the arch of bone at the back, here is the spinal cord, and at each level in your spine, a nerve leaves the spine. And what tends to happen um, either as a cause of, uh, as a result of bad posture or injuries to the neck, the disc here starts to bulge to one side and trap the nerve. And as a result, you get pain that radiates down the arm in the course of that nerve. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, that nerve innervates a certain area of skin. You'll have numbness in that area of skin and weakness of the muscles. So if cervical radiculopathy or nerve impingement in your neck is suspected from the history and the examination, uh, the investigation of choice to look for this is an MRI scan that will actually show you if there is a trapped nerve and clinically um, surgeon will work out if that fits with the symptoms you described in the right distribution. The good thing is in the majority of patients this usually settles down in the first six to 12 weeks or so uh, and that, that can vary to some degree in the majority of patients. Um, the times that you need to think about doing something a little bit more urgently is if you start to have progressive weakness of that arm uh, or loss of function of that arm or if you start to notice symptoms in your lower limbs i.e. if your walking starts to become unsteady or you start to lose function of both arms then you start worrying about a more central disc um, and if that's compressing the spinal cord and the reason this is urgent is because the purpose of treatment at this stage is to try and preserve uh, the function of your arms and legs and protect your spinal cord and it's only in that scenario I'd say that surgery is perhaps the better option and to be carried out a bit more urgently. Often this is the result of poor posture um, so if you're an office worker you work at a laptop and you spend long hours stooped down looking down at a screen or nowadays even a mobile phones staring at a phone uh, for many hours a day looking down is generally what causes this wear and tear the neck just doesn't like looking down for a long period of time and therefore predominantly the treatment of this provided you don't have the weakness and all these things i discussed earlier um, are exercises a physiotherapist can teach you to strengthen the extensor muscles of the neck or called the antagonistic muscles that can help open up some of the channels that the nerves run through equally some manipulations by a physiotherapist chiropractor or osteopath as well to the next manual therapy um, putting some mild traction on the neck uh, can help with that but i do advise be very careful with aggressive manipulations of the neck if you haven't had a scan and that's because some of the larger disc bulges that might be applying a bit of pressure to the spinal cord or a big disc that's causing a lot of compression to the nerve, sometimes manipulations can make that worse and then start to cause damage to the spinal cord. So that has to be done with caution. Uh, thankfully, in my practice, I work together with the physios and osteopaths to help guide them or advise them on the safety of carrying out such manipulation. So if you've had the pain for quite some time, uh, a few weeks, it hasn't really resolved, you've had some physiotherapy and things haven't really got better then we start thinking about some invasive options uh, one option is a CT guided biopsy whereas on, where under a CT scanner we've got some accuracy a needle is passed through the skin of the back of the neck or towards the side rather towards this channel here is where the nerve leaves the spine and a mixture of local anaesthetic and steroid is injected around the nerve. That can help with the inflammation around the nerve and help settle some of the pain, but it doesn't actually decompress the nerve. And then you've also got some surgical options. Um, 
if you've just got entrapment of the nerve, not the spinal cord, one option an operation I do a lot is called a posterior cervical foraminotomy. And what that means is a very small incision under the back of the neck. So this is the back of the neck here, the, the, the knobbly bit of bone that you can feel at the back of the neck. We come in for a very narrow channel and under the microscope just widen this opening here under direct vision uh, to free up the nerve. If you've got a slightly bigger disc and it's compressing the spinal cord, then we do an operation through the front of the neck with an anterior cervical discectomy, infusion or ACDF. It's carried out through a very small incision at the front of the neck where we come in through the front. You end up moving this whole disc so that you can get a good view of the spinal cord uh, and the nerve. And then you replace that fragment with a cage or a breeze block that allows the bones above and below this space to fuse up. So with the same findings on the scan, the treatment of choice is not the same for each patient. At the Spine MDT, we tailor, we tailor the treatment to each patient's individual needs. We take you know, your needs, um, interests, lifestyle into account in order to make that decision together. And our goal, our mission is to find the least invasive solution, but it's important that does give you a long lasting result. Um, I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you want to learn more about the treatments we offer, a one-stop clinic and packages of care uh, please call the number below or email us um, or visit our website and we'll be very happy to help you thank you